Step number eight, trimming brass. Trimming brass has always been one of those steps in reloading that I hated doing. My 6BR brass does not grow a lot, but it still obviously needs it. I've tried a number of things early on, including you know, bench mounted pencil sharpener types, drill mounted types, and even this Frankfurt Arsenal motorized one. They all work fine, but then you have to do more steps like chamfer and deburr the edges. I use this handheld one, or you could take these off and put the ends on the Frankfurt Arsenal or on the RCBS prep center. That saves a little more time, but it's still three steps. Then I found out about the draw trimmer. This has quickly become one of my most important pieces of reloading equipment. The amount of time saved with this device is incredible. It's not cheap, especially with multiple calibers and cartridges, but I would not do it any other way. I've heard the Henderson one is nice as well, but I haven't used it. This thing saves so much time by doing all the steps of trimming, chamfering, and deburring all at once. Some people talk about having to use a special glove to hold the brass, but most of the rounds I use are pretty easy to just hold and get done quickly. Let me show you a little bit closer how I use this and how quick it really is. So setting up the draw trimmer is fairly easy. We have uh, different collets, different dies for uh, the different cartridges that you're gonna do. I have changed them out from the ones that I get from Drawd and put locking collars on them so that once they're set, uh, I don't have to worry about setting them every time. You can see I can just take one out and use it. So this is my 6BR. So all I can do is put that in, tighten it up. The cutter in there is set for six millimeter. These are what the, there we go. So that's what the cutter looks like. This one is set up for 223. And you can see that little set screw there and you can change where the blade is located left to right. Uh, and therefore um, it will work with the different calibers. I just like having multiple cutters set up already so I don't have to change them. So I keep my six millimeter where it is. This is my 223. I will probably get another 30 cal later I've been using the 223 and, and changing it because I don't do those cartridges as often. So the other thing you'll notice is the shape of that blade and it is uh, has a v-notch in it so that means it is cutting the brass down to size it is putting a chamfer on the inside and deburring the outside all at the same time. That's what makes this such a great simple and quick system to use. So then all you have to do, turn it on, take your brass, and you just hear that little bit that it's doing. Throw it over to the done pile. Just a little kiss of the blade. And that's all you usually need. Every once in a while, I will get one that just doesn't do anything. And I will just set that aside. And then I will just go over and hand do it. Just to put a little chamfer and a deburr on it. It's as easy as that. And I'm just gonna run through the rest of this brass and get it trimmed up. And then we can move on to our next step, which will be priming.